Hello there. Welcome to my beautiful living room with some amazing guitar, with a big red chair, lovely fireplace. Everything's lovely, actually. Or is it? It could just be a simulation. And that simulation is Brewmaster, beer brewing simulator. And as amazing as that intro was, I'm just going to jump into the new game. This uh, hopefully will be a new series. It's a new game. Not a new new game. It's a new game for me. It came out as playing this on the PS5, so it's the PS5 edition. And uh, yeah, I hope to make a wee mini series of this. Uh, disabled? No, no, no. So yeah, I'm just going to do the campaign. I think there's a, a career mode rather, not campaign. So, I do have this on the Switch, uh, so I have done, I think I've done a tutorial, which doesn't mean that I'm going to be good at this. So, straight off, uh, and to make things better, I'm not much of a beer drinker. Well, no, I am. I do like beer. Um, but I've never made, I've always, it's something I've always wanted to do, but... I admit I haven't had beer in a long time. Anyway, welcome Brewer. You're about to take your first steps into the world of home brewing. A world packed with creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beers. Brewing is an art with endless possibilities where true mastery can take a lifetime. Yet at heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot. Excuse me. Uh, throw a few ingredients together and create a tasty, thirst-quenching beer to share with friends and family. Uh, so that's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. Brew a beer using the extracting method. Oh, Jeff. This is Jeff. Oh, this looks far better than it does on the Switch. So brew a beer using the extract brewing method. Am I supposed to... Calendar. This is something like myself and a few of my friends were talking about doing years ago. Uh, so the storage screen is where you can retrieve equipment or ingredients that you own. This item, uh, the item shown, depends on which storage. Uh, okay, right. So, pot. Uh, I need to stick it in the sink. Do I need to take the lid off? I do. How do I take the lid off? Oh no, remove lid. There we go. That makes more sense. Show x-ray. Okay. Uh, I've got to fill it with 21 litres. What have we got in here? We've got some beers in the fridge. Nope. Any better music? Nope. No, I'm just going to turn that off. wrong with the noise of a tap because then I don't know oh wow I don't remember coming in here I probably did and there we go that's better you hear that song over and over again Twenty-one liters is a lot of water. Is there anything I can do in the meantime? Um, oh, I can accelerate time. OK, 
Okay. So then we're putting it on the hob. Should really carry it around like that. Okay, some ingredients need to be stored cold. Okay, so we need this. How much? Hang on. Right to know how much. So two two kilograms. Right, so I had more than enough, but that more into the middle. Right, stop pouring. Um, stow item. Put the lid back on. Steepable grain. Uh, 500 grams of steepable grain. Confirm. Continue heating the brew until the water is boiling around 100 degrees. to interact with around here is there if I was like doing like two or three beers at the same time and once I get to about 90 I'll reduce down to 10 yeah like for I used to be a I still like my ales and beers and things, but not as much of a beer drinker my own, like myself. But like, as soon as I seen this game, I was like, yeah, I have to play this. And I still like to do this, but I mean, my only problem, like the my tiny kitchen, I've got a tiny, not in a tiny kitchen, but I have a tiny kitchen, and. I've got an induction hob, so no way this would work. Go for a wander, see what's round here. Can I go out? No. So what is this room? 
so I'm going to have like kegs of all these beers. That's quite cool. Testing taps. Tasting taps, not testing. My wee bar. All my different beers. Equipment. Cupboards. Uh, so we got here living room, front door, furniture. Do you mean furniture? I can change stuff. What's happening? What's happening? Right. Uh, so, two main purposes of hops are to add blah, 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 so alpha, so AAC. So pine, cedar, floral, berry, grassy, woody, earthy, mint, floral. And I quite like that one. So 20 grams of the, 50 grams of British hops. And 20 grams of, so we've got, what's that one? Pine, cedar, floral, berry, pepper, herbal, pine, resin. boil for 10 minutes and remove all the bags and turn off the hob. Okay. this music this is not like you can go and you know, put it all on. Sort of like slow cooking. They like go out for the day and then come back. This is be like carefully monitored. It's vital to cool the wort down before adding the yeast. Okay, so retrieve fermentation. Oh. 
And this one. Where's the bins? That's what I'm looking for. Place in, place in, place in. Guess I don't need that anymore. Uh, right. Um, attention. It at you, attenuation is yeast efficiency. How much of the fermentation sugars it will convert into alcohol and CO2? The remainder will become unfermentable. So choose one of the yeast to add to your inventory. For yeast to ferment, the wort must be within its optimal temperature. Outside of this, yeast will start to hibernate or even die. Um, so we've got Woody and Esther, crisp and clean, right? So yeah, temperatures, yeah, so it's below 21. 15 days. Retrieve a bag of corn sugar. Um... Add a hundred and fifth. Uh, put too much in. To transfer your beer to conditioning container, you need a tube. You can find the tubes in the flow category. Okay. Use the tube to transfer your beer to the plastic bottle. Oh, hang on, there we go. Connect tube.
Okay. I think that's right. Just fast forward and... Okay, place the bottle on a lower surface in the fermentation. Uh, hang on. Right, close. Can now, yeah. So that's all the undissolved shit in there. this shit in here. Okay, so we're waiting 20 days now. Advance. So we're that little bit closer to getting some beer. Take this with me. to the taps okay oh all right okay Aha, uh -huh. is that good? Batch size, slightly hazy. For brew, room use only. All right, okay. Malty and sweet, clean and crisp. Malty and sweet, fruit and spice. Off? I don't know what that means. You mean off as in minging? Off. Of 
quite a mixture in flavours. Uh, the packaging screen is where you can name your finished beer. Choose its style, also its design label for the bottle. Ho, ho, ho. Right. Um... So it's sort of like an orangey colour. Um, oh, here we go. Styles and American Amber Ale. So, think. Bottle. Oh, I've only got Belgian bottles. Glass. Right, so So it's called an American Amber Ale. See keep wanting to call it something to do with being orange. Um, um, name, here we go. I think I know my theme. It's going to be Metal Gear Solid. So we've got Foxhound. Illustration. Um, yeah, I like that. And Yeah, I quite like that shape. Works quite well, even though it's got the V at the bottom. But yeah, no, I like that. Okay. Mm. Yeah, no. Sticking with it. Must be in a conditioning container. When you're ready, advance to the next season. Um, what am I supposed to do with this beer? Do I keep it? Stick it in the fridge? Because I can't drink it. I mean, stick it in the fridge. Congratulations on brewing your first beer. Feel free to experiment further. When ready, move to the front door to advance your next season. You know what? I'm going to wing it. 
I'm gonna put some No, you know what? Tell you what we've done the tutorial. We can make beer now. This will end this so you lose any beers in your no okay. The finished beers conditioning containers that have been through the packaging process will be unaffected. So Foxhound is fine. Um Pick up the Brewer's Quarterly magazine. Oh, God. I like that. Right, where's the magazine? Walked right past it. Uh, read. So, do you know... Or, sorry, greetings, Brewer. Do you know that the best thing about brewing beer is people want to drink it? Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. Uh, I've sent you a copy of the Brewers Quarterly, a, a fun, I uh, know, sorry, a magazine run by the Community Brewer Club, uh, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers, recipes, articles, a catalogue, and last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity, a brewer's services. Say that correctly. A brewer's services are always in demand and jobs, really? And jobs are a great way to earn an income while increasing your brewery master, brewing master. Re, brewing mastery. Why not give one a go? Complete a job. Uh, scrumptious recipes. American pale ale, made one of them. American stout. Stout is disgusting. Uh, beer history, American brewing. Problem with stout is it leaves this horrible taste in your mouth. Um, and it doesn't. There's a stout I had recently. It was like the back of my throat was. Ah. Anyway, job opportunity: sensational citrus, dark matter. I guess that's a stout. The citrus wasn't sounds nice. Uh, at the start of the season, you'll find new jobs, recipes, and articles in Brewers Quarterly. These will be automatically added to your journal and Brewpedia, which will subs subsequently grow as you progress through the game. So there'll be two new jobs every season, each offering rewards such as beer tokens, mastery, and sometimes special items. Uh, you're free to complete one, both, or neither. It's up to you. Although for this part of the tutorial, you need to complete at least one. Uh, each job comes with their own set of requirements that need to be met by your beer in order to complete the job. They also have an uh, optional bonus requirement that grants you extra rewards if you meet it. Okay, I want to do that. Uh, this one. Yes and yeah. Now that you have a uh, job in mind, let's pick a recipe. Okay, select the recipes tab. I'm on the recipes tab. I wasn't on the recipes tab. Uh, there'll usually be two new recipes in each of the each issue of the Brewers Quarterly, which are automatically added to your collection of recipes in your journal. Nice. Each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved. I wonder if I could use all this. I mean, I'm not going to, but I mean, like, I don't know, a real person, a sensible person could use this to actually make a beer. Uh, each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved, and the estimated final stats of the beer. When doing a job, you usually want to pin a recipe that matches the job's requirements. For example, if the job required a certain ingredient, uh, you should find a recipe that contains it. Uh, pin recipes will appear in the HUD, so you can easily follow the steps whilst brewing. Pin recipe. Each uh, of also contains includes beer-related articles, which are automatically added to the Brewpedia. Great for expanding your brewing knowledge. When you're ready, select the catalog. This is where you can buy the ingredients. Oh, so I already have some of this. No, I've got some of it, I suppose. 
Um, so, pinned recipe tab. Okay. So do I have all this? I've got all this already because I used it. I don't know if I used that ones or those ones. Oh, it'll, it'll tell me. So I already own that. I already own that. Fine, if it tells me I don't. I already own it, already own that. Add to that, add to that. So cal. Okay. What are cosmetics? Oh, no, I don't need to do. Um, right. Oh, there we go. Store it all. Um, okay. Oh, nice. I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, add malt, extract to brew container. Extract malt. Um, Yeah, just let it keep going with that. And steeple grain to brew. It's ultra pale. Um, that's not it. Uh, Vienna crystal. I need 400 grams of this. Damn it. Uh, so it needs to be twenty one millimeters, twenty one liters. Uh.
how do I switch this on? Oh yeah. Turn up to a hundred. Hang on, do I... See, I've forgotten how to do this already. Okay. Right. Bit of a mix up. So I don't think it's going to taste the same. Or taste what it should taste like. Um, uh, night two, night three, night four, night five. Oh, for 50 minutes. What? Right. Uh, right. Ben. Uh, what the fuck's the name of it? Ad hops Troy. How much? Fifty. Twenty. Uh, 
Uh, place. So we'll get to 40 minutes. Um, I'm looking for L2. Forty minutes to be twenty-five to five past. Twenty-five past. Twenty-five past. Fifty grams of this. And then it is ten minutes. So twenty five two we're going for. And then fermentation. Uh, yep, that one. Done that one, done that one. So add yeast to fermentation. Oh, yeast is in here. No. Sugar. degrees for uh, 15 days. Okay. Add other ingredients. 170 grams of sugar. Put the right amount in this time. Bang on, eh? Done with that. Transfer to conditioning container, which is... Not that one. Not 
That one. Speed things up a wee bit. So what am I going to call this one? So... Citrusy... idea in my head of who, what it could be. I just want to double check. Hmm, maybe. Uh, right, so I want to close that. Close that. Detach. Okay, place it in absolutely mank it. Pick it up. Pour it into. You can see it sludging about. And place, pick up, pick up, and we're just going to and package that beer. This was the same color. Okay, crisp and clean. Recipe match. Boom. Okay. So I did that. Did that. So we are going to call this. The revolver. Label maker. Oh, 
God, come on. Uh, submit. Submit. And you know what? I've done the first bit. I've got my two beers. Or one beer. Okay. What's that? Fox sound. Where's the other one? Oh, never mind. Anyway, that's it. I'm done the first season, done the tutorial, and I am going to leave it there. But uh, yeah, this will be my first foray into Brewmaster Simulator. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, and uh, hopefully you've stuck with me this whole time. If not, I'm talking to myself. And uh, see you around.